We'll start in child's pose. Big toes are together. Knees are spread wider than the torso. Drop the hips back towards the heels as you walk the hands out forward in front of you, bending from the crease of the hips. The palms are face down. The forehead rests gently on the mat and the eyes are closed. Releasing any tension throughout the body and forgetting about all thoughts that may occur beyond your mat space. We'll stay here for a moment, connecting to the breath, breathing in and out of the nose, and remembering you can find this pose at any time throughout your practice. Think of it as your safe space. Before we begin, Let's take a deep inhale all together, feeling the air move deep within the belly. And exhale, releasing it out as you melt even deeper into the mat. One more time. Inhale all together. And exhale, releasing it out. Go ahead and walk the hands over to the right, feeling into the side body. And if it feels nice, go ahead and place that left hand on top of the right as you draw that left sit bone down into the mat, working that left elbow down as well, and just breathing into that left side. We'll walk our hands back to center before shifting them over to the left, maybe placing that right hand on top of the left as you work towards grounding that right sit bone and that right elbow down into the mat. Breathing into it and just enjoying the opening sensation. And coming back through center. Go ahead and sit up into a kneeling position, Japanese style. We'll place the right hand directly behind the sacrum, ensuring the spine remains straight and that left hand can come to the right knee. We'll take an inhale here. And on the exhale, twisting over to the right and looking over that right shoulder. We'll hold for the inhale. And exhale, coming back to center and switching sides. So left hand comes directly behind the sacrum, right hand to the left knee. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, twisting over to the left, looking over that left shoulder. We'll inhale here and exhale, coming back through center. Go ahead and make your way into an all fours position. So the shoulders are stacked above the wrists, hips are stacked above the knees, and we'll go for a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So on an inhale, chest and hips lift, looking up for your cow, and exhale, spine curves and rounds, looking up at your navel for your cat. We'll inhale, belly drops, heart shines forward, and exhale, curve and round. Inhale, looking up. And exhale, spine curves to the sky. Last one, inhale, belly drops, looking up. And exhale, curve and round, looking up at the belly. We'll come back to a neutral position on the inhale. And on the exhale, tucking the toes, lifting the hips and pushing back for your very first down dog of the practice. Now make sure that you're pressing evenly through all four corners of the hands and that you're not collapsing through the shoulders. The shoulders are rolling down the back and the hips are tractioning upward towards the sky. Feel free to pedal out the feet here, taking your dog for a little walk as you bend into one knee, shifting the weight from one foot and then to the other. Now, I always think that a twisted dog feels good and it might feel nice for you as well. So go ahead and grab onto that right ankle with the left hand before switching sides. Right hand comes to the left elbow. Just doing whatever feels right for you and your body at this time. After finding those intuitive movements, go ahead and find stillness within the pose. If you're tight in the hamstrings, maybe your knees are bent, and that's okay. Just work on energizing those heels back towards the back of the mat. From here, walk the hands back into the feet, just falling over the hips and finding a ragdoll. 
maybe shifting the torso from side to side, shaking the head yes, and nodding it no. Releasing any tension you might be holding in the shoulders and the neck. And slowly walking the hands back out into a downward facing dog. From here, we'll inhale, lift through the hips, and exhale, walk to the top edge of the mat. Inhale, hands to shin, creating a flat back. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. On the inhale, arm circle as you rise, one vertebrae at a time, looking up at your hands. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arm circle, looking up if the neck allows. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. Flat back on the inhale. And exhale, stepping back to a plank and lowering down all the way to the mat. We'll inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, releasing all the way back down. We'll go for a couple more cobras with the option for intimidation cobra. Hands come out to the side, coming up onto the fingertips. Inhale, rise, chest lifts, heart shines forward. And exhale, releasing. Elbows stay up. Inhale, chest lifts, moving with your breath. And exhale, surrendering back down to the earth. We'll inhale up. And exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, chest lifts, heart shines forward. And exhale, lowering down to the mat. Bring the hands back into the chest and we'll inhale to a cobra or the option for an up dog. Thighs and belly lift off the mat, straightening through the hands. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, hips lift, pressing through the hands. And exhale, step or hop, top edge of the mat. Inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. On an inhale, arm circle, interlacing all 10 fingers except for those index fingers. And leaning it over to the right on the exhale. We'll hold here for a couple of breaths. The hips are square and the arms are in line with the ears. Rotating that right shoulder forward as the left hip moves forward. Just feeling into that side body. On an inhale, moving back through center, and exhale, dropping it over to the left. The hips are in line, and the shoulders are down the back away from the ears. On an inhale, coming back through center, and on the exhale, opening the arms like a W, maybe looking back here. We'll hold for the inhale, and exhale, hands in front of the chest. We'll inhale, arm circle, and exhale, folding forward. Inhale, chest lifts, flat back, and exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa, knowing you can skip these at any time throughout the practice. Inhale, chest lifts, exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, hips lift, pressing into the hands, and exhale, step or hop light, top of the mat. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. On the inhale, root to rise, interlacing the fingers except for those index fingers. And exhale, lean it over to the right. Back through center on the inhale. And over to the left, exhale. On the inhale, coming back to center. And exhale, arms cactus out to the side. We'll hold for the inhale. And exhale, hands in front of the heart. On an inhale, arms circle, looking up. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. Chest lifts, flat back on the inhale. And exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, hips lift, downward facing dog. On an inhale, hips reach, elongating that spine. And exhale, step or hop light, top of the mat. We'll inhale to a flat back. And exhale, forward fold. 
On an inhale, arms move, root to rise, interlacing the fingers. And exhale, lean it over to the right. Back to center on the inhale. And dropping it over to the left, exhale. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, arms cactus, maybe a gentle back bend here. We'll hold for the inhale. And exhale, hands in prayer in front of the chest. On the inhale, arm circle, looking up. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. We'll inhale to a flat back. And exhale, stepping back through a plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, your back bend variation. And exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, releasing it out. On an inhale, right leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it between the hands, runner's lunge. We'll go ahead and lower that left knee down to the mat, release the top of that left foot, and you can always double up the mat underneath that left knee so you get a little extra cushion here, just a little extra support. You could also get a blanket, something so it doesn't feel like your left knee is pounding into the floor. And we'll go ahead and bring both hands to the right knee, here in your low lunge. The right knee is bending right above the right heel, feeling the stretch through that left thigh and the left hip flexor. Working on bringing that left hip forward for an even deeper stretch. Now from here, go ahead and reach the arms all the way up to the sky. We'll take an inhale here as you reach the arms up even further, maybe a gentle backbend. And exhale, arms come back to the mat. And we'll make our way into half splits. So straightening the right knee, right leg balancing on your right heel, right toes facing straight up to the sky. If you'd like, go ahead and bring that left hand forward, grabbing onto the right toes. And on an inhale, extend the heart forward, flat back, heart is forward and out. And on the exhale, the chest moves closer to the right leg. Stretching the entire backside of that right leg, all the way from the ankle through to that right hamstring. Now, from here, right foot flat, re bend that right leg, tuck the left toes underneath, lift the left knee up, and from here, step the left foot forward to the right of the right foot so your feet are crisscrossed. Hands to shin, flat back, inhale, and exhale, folding forward. Two more like that. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, extending out, exhale, folding forward. Arm circle, root to rise on the inhale, interlacing the fingers, and over to the left on the exhale, breathing into that right side body. We'll inhale back to center and exhale forward fold. Now from here, lift the left foot on the inhale, transitional standing splits, and lowering it back down on the exhale. We'll inhale to a flat back and exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Cobra, maybe up dog, inhale. Pressing back, downward facing dog, exhale. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, release it out. On an inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. Lower the right knee down to the mat. Release the top of that right foot as we set up for the other side. Again, option to place something under that knee, maybe doubling up your yoga mat, maybe a blanket. We wanna be able to push into that stretch without feeling any pain throughout the knee. Bring both hands to the left knee here in your low lunge. The left knee is bending right above that left heel. Feeling the stretch through that left, sorry, that right hip flexor and that right thigh. Go ahead and start working that right, right hip forward, feeling into the stretch. 
We'll go ahead and reach the arms all the way up to the sky, taking an inhale here as you reach the arms up even further, maybe a gentle back bend. And exhale, arms to the mat. And we'll set up again for half splits. So straightening the left knee, left leg balancing on your left heel, left toes facing straight up towards the sky. Option to bring that right hand forward, grabbing onto the left toes if it feels good for you. On an inhale, heart extends out and forward. And exhale, chest moves closer to that right leg. Feeling into the stretch and the openness throughout the entirety of that left leg. All the way from the Achilles through to that left hamstring. And from here, left foot flat, rebending that left leg, tuck the right toes underneath, lift the right knee up, and from here, stepping the right foot forward, crisscrossed behind the left. On an inhale, hands to shin, flat back, and exhale, folding over the legs. We'll inhale to a flat back, and exhale, folding forward. Last one, inhale, extending out, and exhale, folding forward. Arm circle, root to rise on the inhale, interlacing those fingers, and we'll drop it over to the right. Exhale, just breathing into that left lung, that left rib cage. We'll inhale back to center, and exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and lift that right foot on the inhale, tra just traditional standing splits, and lowering it back down, exhale. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back, and exhale, stepping it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, your back bend variation, and exhale, pressing it back, downward facing dog. Now we'll go ahead and repeat that same flow, moving with our breaths. So let's take an inhale here all together, and exhale, releasing it out. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. Lower the left knee and untuck the left toes. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale, hands to right knee. And exhale here. Inhale, hands reach up to the sky. And exhale, hands back down to the mat. Straightening the right leg, right knee, half splits, inhale, and exhale here. We'll inhale to a flat back, and exhale, chest moves toward the thigh. On an inhale, right knee bends, tuck the left toes, low lunge. Exhale, left foot forward, crisscrossed behind the right. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back and exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back, and exhale, falling over the legs. Last one, inhale, chest lifts, flat back, and exhale, folding over the leg. Inhale, arm circle, root to rise, interlacing the fingers, and exhale, bending it over to the left. Inhale, back to center, Exhale, folding forward. We'll inhale, left leg rises, standing splits. And exhale, toes back to the mat, forward fold. We'll inhale, flat back. And exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, heart shines forward, your back bend variation. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, release it out. On an inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. Right knee to the floor, untuck the back toes, inhale, and exhale here. Hands to knee, inhale, and exhale. Arms reach up to the sky, inhale, maybe looking up. Hands to the mat, exhale. On the inhale, shifting back, half splits. Exhale here. We'll inhale, flat back, 
and exhale, heart moves forward, closer to that thigh. Inhale, moving forward, tuck the back toes, back knee lifts, low lunge. And exhale, right foot crisscrosses behind the left, forward fold. We'll inhale, flat back. And exhale, falling over the legs. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, falling forward. Last one. Inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, falling over the legs. On the inhale, arm circle, root to rise. And leaning it over to the right, exhale. We'll move back through center on the inhale. And exhale, folding forward. Right leg rises, standing splits, inhale. And foot back to the mat, forward fold, exhale. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, chest lifts, cobra maybe up dog. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. We'll rise to crescent on the inhale. And from here, go ahead and straighten that front leg. We'll scoot the back leg forward a foot or so as we set up for pyramid pose. So on an inhale, arms reach out in front of you, elongating your torso. And exhale, fold at the hips as you extend your torso over your front leg. Keep the shoulders drawing back as you maintain length within the spine. The crown of your head extends forward as your tailbone reaches behind you. Ground down through the heel of your back foot and gaze at the front big toe. On an inhale, elongate the spine. And exhale, work on moving the chest closer to the thigh. From here, shift the weight into your front foot. And on an inhale, left leg rises, standing splits. Exhale, foot to the mat, forward fold. We'll put a bend in the knees as we inhale, rise up to chair. So arms are in line with the ears. The weight is evenly distributed between both feet. The, you're bending deeply into the knees. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, hands to prayer in front of the chest. From here, twist over to the right. That left elbow can hook to the outside of that right knee for a little twisted chair. We'll inhale here. And exhale, coming back to center. On an inhale, arms lift back to chair. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. We'll inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, pressing back, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. On an inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it between the hands. We'll rise to crescent on the inhale. And from here, straightening the front foot or the front leg and scooting the back foot forward a foot or so. On an inhale, arms reach out in front of you, elongating the torso. And exhale, folding forward over the hips. The shoulders stay down the spine, maybe bringing the hands to prayer with the pinky fingers resting on the mat. The hips stay square, drawing that front hip back and hugging the back hip in towards the midline. On an inhale, elongate the spine. And exhale, work on bringing the chest closer towards the thigh. From here, shift the weight into that front foot. Right leg rises, standing splits on the inhale. And exhale, foot to the mat, forward fold. On an inhale, put a bend in the knees as you rise up to chair. And exhale, hands in prayer in front of the heart. From here, go ahead and twist it over to the left, that right elbow hooking onto the outside of that left knee, shoulders roll down the back, the chest is open. We'll take an inhale here, 
and exhale, shifting back through center. Arms rise on the inhale and exhale, folding forward over the legs. Flat back, inhale and exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, heart lifts, your back bend variation. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, sighing it out. On an inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. We'll rise to crescent on the inhale. And exhale, tilting forward. Arms come to the side body, palms face down, finding arrow pose. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, releasing it out. Next inhale, arms and left leg rise. That knee coming into the chest, finding stork pose. Exhale, balancing here on the right leg. We'll go for Gary Dasana, eagle pose. So left leg comes up and over the right, wrapping it around as you try to hook the toes behind the calf. That right arm comes up and on top of the left, palms facing one another, aligning the fingertips as you lift the elbows. Putting a bend into that standing leg as you lower the hips, keeping them square. Thighs drop closer to the mat. Continue pressing the inner thighs together as the shoulders draw down the back and you spread through the collarbones. The crown of the head is reaching towards the ceiling. We'll give it one last squeeze before unwrapping. Arms reach up by the ears and that left leg hovers parallel to the mat in front of you. We'll take an inhale here, trying to bring that left leg even higher before exhaling and stepping back behind you for crescent. Inhale, arms are up, maybe looking up. And exhale, hands come to the mat as you step that right foot back to meet the left for plank. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, lower down to your belly. From here, we'll go for a sphinx pose. So bring your arms up and rest your elbows under, the, under your shoulders with your forearms on the floor, parallel to each other. Point your middle fingers directly forward. On an inhale, press your forearms into the floor as you lift your head and chest. Press your pubic bones into the floor. Strongly engage your legs as you roll your outer thighs slightly toward the floor to help lengthen your lower back. Keep your elbows tucked into your sides. Drop your shoulder blades down your back and draw your chest forward, lengthening your tailbone towards the heels. From here, go ahead and put a bend into that right knee as you gently reach back, grabbing the right toes with the right arm feeling a deep stretch throughout that right thigh. Twisting over to the right to your own degree. And we'll hold here for a couple of breaths, just pulling that foot in gently for an even deeper stretch there. And releasing, hands to the mat. We'll inhale to a cobra. And on the exhale, tucking the toes, lifting the hips, downward facing dog and we'll go for the other side. So on an inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it between the hands. We'll rise to crescent on the inhale, and exhale, tilting forward, finding arrow pose. Hands are down by the sides, palms face down. The torso is hovering over that left thigh. And on an inhale, shifting the weight forward, balancing on the left leg as the right knee comes into the chest for stork pose. From here, that right leg twists up and around the left as the left arm comes up and around the right. We'll put a bend into that left leg as you squeeze the inner thighs together, bringing the hamstrings closer to the floor. Shoulders roll down the back as you lift the elbows, spreading through the shoulder blades and the collarbones. The hips are in one line and your gaze is forward out in front of you. We'll take one last inhale here, squeezing everything together. And on the exhale, unwrapping, arms reach towards the sky as that right leg hovers parallel to the mat in front of you. And we'll balance here. 
We'll take an inhale, arms reach, leg lifts, and exhale, stepping it back, finding crescent pose. We'll inhale, arms reach, maybe looking up for full expression. And exhale, hands frame the front foot as you step back to a plank position. We'll take an inhale here. And exhale, slowly lowering all the way down for the mat, to the mat. And setting up for another Sphinx pose. So elbows come underneath the shoulders with the forearms on the floor parallel to each other. On an inhale, pressing the forearms into the floor as you lift your head and chest off the mat. The pubic bone is pressing into the floor and the legs are engaged. The elbows stay tucked into the sides as you drop your shoulder blades down your back and draw that chest forward. The tailbone lengthens towards the heels and we're breathing here. Now, go ahead and put a bend into that left knee, twisting the chest open to the left as you reach back and grab the left toes with the left hand. Pulling your leg into your own degree as you enjoy the stretch and that opening sensation down the front of the leg. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths, just working on opening up that left hip and quadricep. Take one last inhale here and exhale, releasing. We'll inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, tucking the toes, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. On an inhale, hips reach. And exhale, step or hop, top edge of the mat. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, folding forward. On an inhale, arms circle, root to rise. And exhale, hands to heart center in front of the chest. We'll take a couple breaths here maybe closing down the eyes as you find the balance between all four corners of the feet. Shoulders roll down the back and the crown of the head is lifting towards the sky. We'll take an inhale here and exhale, releasing it out. Now from here, go ahead and bring that left hand to the left hip as you reach down and grab onto the big toe of the right foot with the first two fingers, balancing on the left leg. Shoulders are down the back and the spine is strength, is straight. Now option to stay here. And if you're still working on your balance and your flexibility, then definitely do. Or maybe you wanna move up so that you can <clears throat> be leaning up against a wall, that's fine too. But for those of you wanting to press on, go ahead and extend that right leg straight out in front of you, remembering to keep that spine straight. Left arm extends out to the side, helping you balance. And remembering to breathe. Now go ahead and slowly open that right leg out to the right, feeling the stretch down the inner right leg, and we'll balance here. The left leg is straight, and we're strong through that arm. Go ahead and slowly bring that right leg back out in front of you. We'll inhale, arms reach up to the ears as the right leg remains hovering above the mat in front of you. We'll take one more inhale here, maybe lifting that leg higher. And on the exhale, stepping the right foot back behind you, putting a bend into that left knee as you find crescent pose. Inhale, arms reach up, full expression and exhale, hands frame the front foot as you release the right knee down to the mat, untucking the toes. Keep your right hand down on the mat and bend your right back right foot in. Now, with your left hand, see if you can reach back and grab that right foot, giving the quadricep a deep, massive stretch here. Excellent work, guys. And from here, releasing the foot back to the mat, coming back through center and shifting the hips back for half splits. And then we'll go ahead and move into your variation of full splits. So move that left heel forward as you slowly move closer to the floor. Feel free to place a block under the left sit bone if you need to modify. 
and remembering not to judge yourself here. You may have a higher block, you may have two or three blocks stacked on top of one another, or you may be so high that you can't even use a block, and that's okay. You're doing whatever you can here, going as far as you can go on this particular day. And whatever you can do is perfect. Flexibility isn't something that happens overnight. I've been practicing splits and working on my flexibility for years now, and I still can't make it all the way down to the floor. We're all exactly where we need to be. And the only way we're going to improve is by showing up time and time again. Consistency is key here. Excellent, guys. Now slowly come all the way up onto your fingertips, tuck the right toes underneath, lift your right leg up, and slide your left leg back, finding a downward facing dog. Feeling free to pedal out the feet here, shifting the weight from side to side, releasing into any tension you might be feeling throughout the body before finding stillness within the posture. And we'll go for the other side. So on an inhale, hips reach. And exhale, step or hop, top edge of the mat. We'll inhale, hands to shin, flat back. And exhale, folding over the legs. On an inhale, arm circle, root to rise. And exhale, hands in front of the heart center. Closing down the eyes. And just envisioning yourself moving through this next balancing practice with style and ease. So from here, bring that right hand to the right hip as you reach down and grab onto the big toe of that left foot with the first two fingers. Finding your balance, the shoulders are down the back and the spine is straight. Now, either staying here and that's totally fine, maybe you're moving up against a wall, or option to straighten that left leg out in front of you, keeping the spine straight as the right arm opens out to the side. We'll take an inhale here, and on the exhale, slowly opening up that left leg out to the side, opening up through the inner muscles of the lifted leg. The right leg remains straight and balancing here. Excellent, now slowly bring that left leg back to the center out in front of you. We'll inhale, arms to the sky as that left leg hovers parallel to the mat. And on the exhale, putting a bend into that standing leg as the left leg steps back, finding crescent. We'll inhale, arms reach up for full expression, and exhale, left knee drops to the mat releasing the top of the left foot. We'll keep the left hand down on the mat as we bend the back left foot in. Now with your right hand, see if you can reach back and grab onto that left foot. Maybe pulling it closer to, towards you, doing whatever feels right, opening up the quadricep for an enormous stretch here. <clears throat> we'll take an inhale here. And exhale, releasing. Now go ahead and drop the back foot down to the mat, twisting back to center before shifting back and finding your half splits. And from here, we'll go for your variation of full splits on the other side. So the right heel moves forward as you slowly make your way closer to the mat, placing a block under that right sit bone to modify and just breathing into the stretch. We never want to forget about our breath. And remember to be kind to yourself here. Instead of judging yourself for how far you're able to move within the pose, try thanking yourself for showing up today and for doing something nice for your body and for your mind. Yoga isn't about the performance. It's all about the effort. I read a quote the other day that said, saying you're not flexible enough for yoga is like saying you're too dirty to take a shower. We come to our mat to work on our flexibility. This is why we're here, nobody's perfect. We're here to just learn and grow within our bodies. So that over time we can look back and be blown away with how far we were able to come. Now slowly make your way all the way up onto the fingertips, tuck the left toes underneath, 
Lift the left leg and slide your right leg back, downward facing dog. And again, option to pedal out the feet here, taking your dog on a nice little walk, just shifting the weight from side to side. Before finding stillness, and on an inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, bringing it forward so the shin is parallel to the mat as we set up for pigeon pose. Flex the right foot as you extend the left leg straight out behind you, keeping the top of that left foot flat to the floor. Option to put a block under the front hip for support. And slowly lower the chest towards the floor to your own degree, keeping the sternum moving forward to lengthen the spine. You can use the forearms for support here, or feel free to rest the forehead onto the floor if the flexibility is there for you. Just soften the gaze and breathe into the posture. We'll hold here for a couple of breaths, remembering to try to keep that front shin parallel to the mat, so it may have a tendency to work its way backwards. Just be aware of that and slowly keep it forward. And if you're ready and willing, slowly pushing yourself back up, tuck the back toes and rise back three-legged dog. And exhale, right leg down to the mat. We'll inhale, left leg rises. And exhale, bringing the shin forward parallel to the edge of the mat. The front foot stays flexed as you extend the back leg straight out behind you. Again, option to place a block or maybe a pillow underneath the front hip for support as you slowly lower the chest towards the floor, keeping the sternum moving forward to keep that length in the spine. Breathing into the posture. We never want to forget about our breath. When we stop breathing, we give in to the resistance. So breathe into it, accept it. We hold a lot of stress in our hips, so holding deep stretches like this can be very healing. As thoughts arise, just become aware of them and simply release them, putting your focus back onto the breath, keeping your mind within the mat space. And when you're wet, ready and willing, slowly coming back up, tucking the back toes and pressing back, three-legged dog. And exhale, releasing the leg back down to the mat. From here, we'll drop the knees, coming to an all fours position. Shoulders are stacked above the wrists, the hips are stacked above the knees. We'll inhale, right arm shoots out to the side as we set up for thread the needle. And exhale, thread that right arm underneath the left. So palm face up as your right shoulder and head come down to the mat. Hips stay square with the option of lifting your left hand up and out to the side on the inhale, opening up the chest. And exhale. Left hand presses back down into the mat. And on the inhale, the right arm comes back up and out. And exhale, lowering it back down to the center. We'll go for the other side. So on an inhale, left arm rises out to the side and exhale, threading it underneath the right as your left shoulder and head move down to the mat. Keep the hips square as you lift the right hand up and out on the inhale. And on the exhale, right hand presses back down into the mat. And on the inhale, lifting up as the left arm shoots back up to the sky. And exhale, coming back through center. From here, we'll shift the knees forward as we cross the feet behind us before sitting back and releasing down all the way onto our backs. And we'll go for a bridge pose. So place the soles of the feet on the mat, hip distance, bringing them in close to the body, tuckling, tickling the back of the heels with the fingertips. Press into the feet and lift the hips. Interlace the hands under the back and press the upper arm, forearm, and outer wrist into the floor. Roll the inner thighs down and soften the glutes as the tailbone lengthens towards the heels. We'll draw the shoulders under the chest and lift the shoulder blades towards the back of the heart. And releasing. Option for another bridge or if wheels in your practice, feel free to press up into a wheel. 
So press into the hands as you straighten through the arms, elevating the head off the mat. Roll the inner thighs down and soften through the buttocks. Draw the front ribs down towards the front hips, pointing <clears throat> and sorry, and breathing into the chest. And releasing all the way back down to the mat. Hug the knees into the chest and rock side to side, just massaging into that lower back. From here, bring the knees into the forehead as you press the hands into your sacrum, your lower back. Option to stay here or option to push up into shoulder stand. Legs extend up with the hips opening and the feet engaging towards the front edge of the mat. And when you're ready, releasing. Bringing the knees back to the forehead with the option to go into plow pose. So legs extend over the head behind you with the toes resting on the floor. Feeling into the back stretch. And releasing, going for a couple of rock and rolls up and down the mat. Before making your way all the way into your final resting pose, Savasana, corpse pose. Legs are extended long out in front of you, heels into touch with the toes relaxing out to either side. The arms resting easily at your sides as you shift the shoulders down the back. Close down the eyes here, just relaxing into the pose, absorbing up all the benefits of today's practice. Feeling the breath move through you with every inhale and melting deeper into the ground with every exhale. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths, enjoying the stillness and the quietness of the mind. Feel free to stay here for as long as you'd like. But if you're ready, go ahead and start bringing some small movements back into the body, rolling out the feet and the wrists, maybe moving the head from side to side. We'll go for a big body yawn, so arms reach up by the ears as your legs stretch out in opposite directions. And slowly making your way to a comfortable seat at the front of the mat. Bring the hands in prayer in front of the third eye. May you have thoughts of positivity and self-love. Bringing the hands in front of the lips. May you speak words of kindness and truth. And bring the hands in front of the heart. May you feel and give the love that you truly do deserve. The love and light in me recognizes that same love and light in each of you. Together we say, Namaste.